Hey viewers, welcome to our channel. Here we are again with a new tutorial. Today's topic is on land use and land cover change analysis. So let's start. First of all, we need to add the two respective years LULC map. For example, I have taken two years data one is 2000 and one is 2022 before doing the change analysis remember that the same classes should be there in both the years and also the classes should be in an ascending order now select an scp post processing land cover change now select the reference classification as 2000 the earlier one and the new classification as 2022 the new one then run save to file after the analysis a matrix will be shown you can see the cross class code shows the LULC change in both the years and reference class shows the LULC of 2000 and new class shows the LULC of 2022 with the pixel and area now let's change the symbology of the analysis with respect to the matrix table now select on the properties allocated unique values classify we will get the classes here we can see the reference class is 1 and the new class is also 1. So the value 1 represents that there is no change. First value we will label it as no change in the water bodies. In the second value we can see that the reference class is 2 and the new class is 1. So we can identify there is a change in the class that is from vegetation to water bodies. Previously, it is represented as vegetation, which is now represented as water bodies. So here we will label it as vegetation to water bodies and select the color as water body color, which is blue. Similarly, we will repeat the same process for all the values. After assigning the color and label to all the values, let's apply and OK. We can see that our change analysis was calculated for, for 2022 years. 